human progress and achievement on Earth has been made possible by the success of this highly complex yet fundamentally simple machine, the human body. It is controlled, body and mind, by the brain. The capacity of the human brain for communication and learning enables us to work together for a common purpose and to adapt to a huge variety of different environments and situations. Nerve channels contained in the spinal cord relay messages to and from the brain. These messages coordinate the actions of limbs, internal organs, and the mind. All human activity is coordinated through the central nervous system, whether it's a simple spinal reflex or whether it's a sophisticated coordination of hands and eyes. Unlike most animals, humans have the ability to learn from the way their bodies react in different situations. They can modify behavior according to circumstances. While the nervous system controls responses to immediate situations, the endocrine system, through the glands, generally governs the more long-term bodily processes. The body's main controlling gland is the pituitary. This tiny gland controls most of our hormonal systems, as well as muscle and bone growth. One part of the gland produces hormones which govern the actions of other glands, like the thyroid, the adrenal, and the sex glands. The hormone produced by the thyroid regulates the metabolic rate throughout the body. Disorders can cause extreme variations in body size. The adrenal glands, by releasing adrenaline, prepare the body for action in situations of extreme stress. Sex hormones help to define male or female sexual characteristics. All of these delicate mechanisms are protected by the skeleton. The bones form a strong framework, protecting internal organs and supporting muscles. Bones which protect organs are, typically, strong, light, and flat. Wrists and feet contain short bones which provide extra resilience. Long bones in the limbs and chest are strong, light, and hollow, perfect for all kinds of motor activities. All of this activity needs fuel. Oxygen is absorbed through the internal lining of the lungs and into the bloodstream. The bloodstream carries oxygen and nutrients around the body through a 60,000 mile network of blood vessels, keeping cells alive and removing waste materials. In the time it takes for the heart to beat once, fresh, oxygenated blood enters the left side of the heart and is pumped to organs and tissues. At the same time, blood without oxygen is pumped from the right side of the heart back to the lungs, where it is refreshed with oxygen. Another kind of fuel is provided by the food we eat. This energy source is broken down by the digestive system. Much of the absorption of the nutrients essential to life takes place through the lining of the small intestine. Like all other animals, the human species has to reproduce itself in order to survive. But beyond the physiological need, the creation of a new human being is associated with expressions of love and mutual attachment. A man may release about 200 million sperm at any one time, of which hundreds will reach the female egg. Only one of these will survive to penetrate the membrane of the ovum. The fertilized egg attaches itself to the lining of the uterus and forms the new embryo. Pregnancy lasts for nine months. After eight to ten weeks, major internal organs are formed and the limbs are distinguishable. A face appears soon after. By twenty weeks, Strong fetal movements are often felt within the uterus. Newborn babies enter the care and protection of the family. Most children remain within the family for many years, learning to play their social role as a member of the human species. <laughs>